Hey everyone, it's the Bodark here. Before we get started with today's video, I wanted to say that it has been 10 years since I have been on YouTube, and I want to thank all of you who have been with me on this small journey. When I started this channel, I admit I had a very rough start, but I'm glad I was able to turn this channel around and make it into what it is today. I hope to continue to grow this channel and give you guys more amazing content, whether it be my vlogs or my gaming shenanigans, and... One day I do hope to bring this channel somewhere to beyond what it is. So without further ado, enjoy the Singapore leg of my trip. See you later guys. So today we are going to Singapore. Um, yeah, so me and my parents were all packed up and ready to go, waiting for our family to come down. Um, they're already, some of them are already here, so yeah, we're going to Singapore. We're gonna go check out the airport in Singapore. So that's the plan for today. Okay, so we are currently at the airport right now. Um, we just finished getting our luggage in, passing through security, all that typical airport stuff. And now we are just waiting for our flight, which is right over there. That is our flight, which is going to take us to Vietnam, then we transfer, and then go to Singapore. So there's that. It's going to basically be a whole day of flying, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So. hour and 45 minute flight from Taiwan to Vietnam we are here in Vietnam or Saigon so yeah we have a like three to four hour layover here so I'm just gonna chill here I'm not gonna really do anything just wait for the flight so I'll let you know when I make landing in Singapore and I will give you guys a look at the jewel which is Probably the most, because like Singapore is the number one airport in the world apparently because it's got pretty much everything. Like a theater, a viewing area, hell, even a butterfly garden of all places. And their number one attraction, which is the jewel. I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke saying like, oh, it, it's like the crown jewel for whatever. It's, yeah, yeah. It, it's basically a waterfall in the center of the airport. And it, I mean, my cousin Chris was there and saw it with his own eyes. It's pretty cool. And um, in a few hours, I'm gonna see it for myself. So, yeah.
Singapore a couple hours ago. And after a little bit of confusion, we have finally made it to the Jewel. So yeah, right behind me is the waterfall that the Jewel is known for. We're gonna come back and check that out later, but right now we're just gonna get some food because we're hungry and we're tired, so yeah. First meal in Singapore, laksa. Probably the first out of many of the dishes also later in the vlog. Noodles are a bit slippery, but I did get some uh, on the spoon, so we're gonna try this laksa first time in Singapore. Ooh. That, the noodles are really chewy. That laksa, it's got a lot of heat. I can taste the coconut milk. It's really fragrant. This soup is, this laksa is like unlike anything I've had before at home. This is really tasty. I, I like it. I can't believe it. My uncle actually, he got a hot pot in Singapore. Wow. This is crazy. And my mom just came back with some towel or like rice noodles that are practically drowned in like gravy. Holy crap. All right, I got the noodles that my mom got here in the spoon. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that beef is so chewy. That the noodles as well, that drowned in that gravy makes all the difference. It's so good. Boy, that that is delicious. I bet, again, best first meal in Singapore. Attraction at the Jewel. Literally the crown jewel of this place. <laughs> So we just got to the hotel after checking out the Jewel and then taking the metro and so yeah we're at the hotel it's just exhausting um uh, yeah but um yeah the hotel is a bit um small um but it is a bit roomy than our taiwan hotels i'm gonna try to like give a little view of this yeah it is a little bit roomy but the view you can't really see it um, you can actually see a bunch of stuff out here. This is actually one of the best views I've had. Um, you, I think that's the garden by the bay over there. And then there's that Ferris wheel. I forgot what it's called, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, so far I'm liking Singapore. Uh, yeah, we're just going to spend a few days here and then we go on a cruise and, um, yeah. So stay tuned for that. I am going to be clocking out for tonight. Good morning everyone, it is currently day 12 on the trip and our first official day in Singapore. So I don't know what we're going to do today, um, we're currently just trying to get some breakfast and um, it was chaotic at the hotel, like that room was a bit small for like three people, um, but I mean it is still decent but again it is Oh, that this hotel room is not meant for three people. That so there's that. Um, yeah. So like this is where we're eating today, and it's got a Michelin star too. Nice. Breakfast in Singapore. Starting off with some noodles. Nice. All right, noodles, first day in ta Singapore. Oh, these are, I can see why this got a Michelin star. These noodles are so tasty. And that sauce, whatever's in it, the meat, so good. Currently at this like, other mini eatery and um, uh, we got some Hong Kong style coffee so let's give it a sip. Oh that is, it's it's like not like your typical average coffee, it's like really sweet and 
that and I, I still taste the bitterness in the coffee but this is really really good nice my mom also got these curry potato puffs <laughs> because like she just couldn't resist and she just wanted to try these we literally had a big bowl of noodles though oh but now we're eating more all right let's just give these potato puffs a try Mm. That pastry is really flaky, and also that curry's got a ton of spices in it. And I like, it's like very good curry too. Like, it really makes the potato taste a lot better. I can taste all that, like those different spices. I can't really explain it, what it is in there. It is just, oh man. All the food in Singapore is like so good. Like, this is incredible. Like, yeah. Of you who are wondering where I got those curry puffs, or my mom getting those curry puffs, it's this place called Heap Seng Long. So, yeah, there's like the curry puffs over there. So, they're pretty cheap like one dollar, like one Singapore dollar. So, if you want some good stuff, definitely come to Heap Seng Long for some good as hell curry puffs. the shop to um, get what is called te tarik or like this like milk tea so usually what they do is that like they basically like get the hot tea and then like they just pour it from like a long like a long angle or something I don't know I just saw a like video on it and well yeah so my mom just figured she'd get some of that so we'll give that a try whoa that is like way different from any milk tea I've had. Like, it's like, I think they put like a ton of spices in there. That is just really rich. It's just, I think like, there's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just really, really good. I, I love it. This is, this is tasty as hell. Try some soup. Uh, even though I'm full, it is the soup is still hearty. So, yeah. <laughs> now we're just taking a look at these different breeds of durian. Oh, look at all of them. As you can see we also got some durian, some mangosteens, all prepped up. So, yeah. All right, let's try some mangosteen. Oh, Mm. Um, it's so sweet, so refreshing. Mm. It's like, uh, yeah, it's really juicy. Mm. So sweet too. It's so good. That 
Another hawker stall. I think this is the Newton Food Center. <laughs> lots and lots of yummy stuff, but unfortunately I can't eat because I already had a lot of food. Uh, that's this. Another must get in Singapore. Fresh coconut juice. All right, bottoms up. That is really fresh coconut juice, that's for sure. And very refreshing too. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so we are headed back to the Jewel. Uh, just because like, we didn't know what to do after um, uh, going to that um, temple and we just decided to stop by a hawker center and I don't know, just my some of my family members just wanted to go shopping. So that's why we're headed to the Jewel right now. And I did want to see that waterfall during the daytime anyways. I mean, it's prettier at night, but I don't know. I just seen more pictures of it during the daytime. That's just my personal opinion. I, and so, yeah. And it gives my family more time to explore the Jewel because we didn't really have time last night. So that's why we're back here at the Jewel. Yep, we are back here at the Jewel. The literal crown jewel of the jewel. I, I don't know why I said that, that's so cringe. But yeah, I don't know. Again, just decided to check out here. Families just going to buy some stuff and, you know, admiring scenery. That's pretty much it. now just got out of the jewel and we are heading to watch a tree show at the gardens by the bay i think it was like an outdoor section of gardens by the bay it was seen in crazy rich asians during the wedding scene so first time i'm gonna check it out too um we're supposed to go to gardens by the bay tomorrow we still are and also another surprising thing is but yeah, we were supposed to go to Gardens by the Bay tomorrow, but then my aunt and uncle really wanted to see the light show at the tree section. So, yeah, we are um, uh, going to go there um, right now, and we'll be also going there tomorrow. There it is, the trees at the Gardens by the Bay. It's looking um, pretty cool, actually. So we're going to be seeing the show and yeah. We have a view of the famous Marina Bay Hotel. Whoa, check out this mall. There are so much designer brands here, like in this mall, there you have Versailles, Burberry, back there Celine, I think that's Bottega. Burberry, it is crazy. Like, uh, yeah, I, uh, wow. So we're getting dinner here at the mall. I got the Hainan chicken. And I also got some kind of roll and some sauteed. My uncle came out with some fried noodles and a whole steamed fish. Wow, that's crazy. And our last item came, which is a clay pot rice. Chicken clay right Trying some satay. Mm. Really smoky and flavorful, especially with the peanut sauce. Not bad. I like it. I'm also trying some uh, Hainan chicken here, so with some rice. I'm not sleepy, it's just that my feet are also bothering me too. I have some really good Hainan chicken. Chicken's really juicy. Rice also pretty good. 
Always a two-wheel Jazz or three-wheel. Probably the best high end you can have had in Singapore.